I now call the representative of civil society, Drug Foundation of New Zealand. Sir. <laughs> He mihi tēnei atu ki a koutou oku nei rakatira. He mihi anō tēnei ki te mana whenua o tēnei rohi. A tēnā rā koutou. Greetings. Sometimes when we are threatened we go to war. And sometimes we go to war against the wrong people. If we had decided to wage war against cancer, would we do that by bombing the people who have cancer? Many nations have joined up to wage a war against drugs and have ended up attacking and harming people who really are in need of our help and our support. I started using drugs when I was 13 years old and when I was 28 years old, a judge gave me a choice to get help from my drug problem or go to jail. That was 27 years ago. I had a judge who could see that the reason I kept standing before him was ultimately because of my drug use. He could see that I needed a health intervention rather than a criminal justice one. And he sent me to treatment for my drug problem. And because treatment works, I stand here today as chair of the New Zealand Drug Foundation, as director of Māori development at Otago University, and as having not used drugs for 27 years. My journey was supported, like my predecessor, by essential harm reduction services, including opioid substitution therapy with methadone. It has also included screening and then treatment for hepatitis C. You are here to discuss the world drug problem, but many of you directly contribute to that problem by denying your citizens access to the vital support, such as harm reduction, the support that saved my life. You are actively blocking progress towards providing help to those who most need it. I believe that if you're not part of the solution, then you're part of the problem, and that the, a major part of the world drug problem are those countries that continue to block progress towards compassionate, proportionate and health-focused responses to drug use and drug users. So the first thing I ask for in standing before you today is to stop punishing people who need our help. We've got to stop criminalising people who need our care and support. I am Kaitahu Māori from Otako to Iponamu, New Zealand. We are the first people of that land. We have a history of colonisation, dispossession and deprivation, and deprivation has consequences. When we focus only on drug use, on problems people present with when we don't ask questions about the wider, broader picture, the why, we can miss so much. My problems didn't start the day I picked up a needle. They went much further back. And this is a story you will hear many, many times, and particularly from Indigenous people. In New Zealand, Māori make up 15% of the population, but are 51% of our prison population and 40% of those are in there for drug offences. You see the same pattern in Australian Aboriginals, Native Americans, Native Hawaiians, Alaskans, Indigenous peoples from all over the world. High levels of drug use and high levels of drug-related harm. It's no accident. As Indigenous people, we have the solution to our problems, including our drug problems. In your outcomes document, you rightfully acknowledge the importance of the Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. But that puts obligation on you to include us in your discussions and policy decisions that affect us. So I ask that from this UNGAS forward, the unique perspectives and views of Indigenous and First Nations people are sought and included. If there is, finally, if there is a war to be fought, and I believe that there is, it should be a war on poverty, on disparity, on dispossession, and on the multitude of political and historical factors that have left and continue to leave so many people vulnerable and in jeopardy.
And we also need to acknowledge that the people we're all here talking about, about are our sons, our daughters, our brothers, and our sisters. And if you think just for a minute, how would you want your son or daughter to be treated if they developed a problem with drugs? Then the way forward becomes very, very clear. Noreira, tēnā koutou, and thank you. I, I, I thank the representative of civil society in accordance with GA Resolution 70-181.